Hello YouTube, we're back here again with our piece of junk Samsung dishwasher that is broken down again. And this time it was the 5E error, which is meaning the drain is not working. So we opened up the dishwasher and there was about uh, 2 to 3 inches of water in the bottom. And uh, the washer just stopped in the middle of the cycle with the 5E error and uh, wouldn't drain anymore. So anyway, I've looked around on YouTube and done some digging here and I found the problem and I'm going to share that with you. So instead of the normal video where we show you how to take everything apart, I'm going to start with the dishwasher all the way uh, already taken apart. I'll show you what I found, <coughs> what the fix will be, and then how to put it back together. And plus there's plenty of videos online uh, about how to tear down the dishwasher. So the main point of this video is to uh, show how to fix the problem without having to buy a whole new uh, drain pump. Alright, right there is the problem. We get it to focus here. That is the check valve for the drain system. Let me zoom out so you can see where that is in relation. <coughs> so, in the bottom of the dishwasher, just uh, take all those screws loose. The drill comes in really handy. Uh, but once you undo all of those screws, uh, cover lifts right out. And down there, in the bottom, is a check valve. And as you'll see, when I pull this out, it just pulls right out of the. It just pulls right out. It's a little piece of rubber. And that is only half of it. The other half is right here, and you may ask, why is it not together? And I'll show you that in just a minute. We found this uh, was actually what was clogging up the drain. And can get this thing to focus. But anyway, it's just a little round rubber check valve that uh, has some function with, I guess, preventing the water from backflowing. So anyway, we'll turn the washer over on its side and show you where uh, where I found the other half of it. Okay, <clears throat> so I've uh, turned the washer over on its side. There's the front. This is we're looking at the bottom of the washer, and uh, there was a white pan. Let me move this thing out of the way here. There was this white uh, drain pan that had to come off, and again, there's plenty of videos that show how to take it apart. But once you get that off, it's real easy. To um, just loosen this uh, clip here. So this this thing was basically I'm showing you in reverse. And that thing was on there about like that. So you basically just slide the clip off. nudge and there's the uh, the drain that runs up to your garbage disposal but basically I pulled that off and I looked down in there and here's our little check valve I found it right in there along with this is another common problem with this uh, particular dishwasher the tabs from the um, a little basket. Let me show you where this came from. So on the upper rack, on the upper rack there's this piece that allows you to raise and lower the upper basket. And you'll notice this one over here has six of the little tabs that hook it onto the, the wire rack. This one over here only has four. So these these two tabs right here have broken off. It's, again, it's a common problem with this dishwasher. And after it breaks off, it goes into the little uh, grinder in the bottom of the dishwasher and eventually it grinds it down enough uh, where this thing flows through. And usually it flows into the, the drain and everything's fine other than the grinding for two or three loads. So if you hear your dishwasher grinding, check your tabs and that's probably what the problem is. But anyway, I don't think that caused the, the clog in this case. 
Uh, in this case, it was this check valve. So the fix is I just pulled it out uh, with the needle nose pliers, pulled this out, and I'm going to hook everything back up. And I will buy a new uh, diaphragm and put that back in place like I showed you before. And again, uh, I'll reference a couple videos in the comments on <clears throat> how to take this thing apart and put it back together. But that's pretty much all there is to it. And uh, once I get it all hooked up, I'll check and we'll make sure that code has gone. And then you'll have a running dishwasher um, without having to buy a whole new drain pump. All right, <clears throat> decided I'd go ahead and show you uh, the steps as I put it back together. So when you watch the, uh, the other videos, you'll know which things you have to do and which things you don't. So basically all I did was hook the drain hose back on with the clip, like I showed you earlier. I put this thing back on. There's one little wire uh, connector you have to connect. And then these two screws right there and right there. And this thing just pops on and that's all you have to do. The videos will show uh, taking these side panels off and you don't have to do that. They show taking this cover loose, you don't have to do that. Um, and they show, I think, even taking these two screws off and popping this whole bottom gray plastic thing off. You don't have to do all that. <clears throat> uh, you will have to unhook the water line and the power. Uh, so make sure you turn the water off and disconnect the power before you do that. And then I'll show you what else in the next step. All right, so I got the um, little filter cover back in place. Put the uh, dishwasher, slid it back in place. I've uh, hooked up the um, water supply and the electric. Well, I hadn't hooked up the electrical yet. But I went ahead and hooked up the water supply. Um, and uh, one little trick when you're putting the cover back on, and also. I don't have my uh, <clears throat> new check valve diaphragm, but it needs to go in before you put the, uh, the cover back on. So I'm going to have to order that part, so I'm going to try and run it without it and see what happens. But a little trick, uh, pull all these, you know, make sure you know which screw goes in which hole. But uh, the little cover fits on better if you don't have all the screws in. So I put all the screws out, and in this case, um, they were all the same size. <clears throat> so I didn't have to worry about which one went in which hole, but this is the uh, DMT <clears throat> 800 model Samsung. If you got a different model, you might want to make sure all the screws uh, are the same uh, before you just pull them all out. But anyway, uh, took all the screws out, put the cover right in place, and now I'm getting ready to tighten them all down, and then we should be good to go. All right, the one screw that uh, is different on this model is the one that um, holds the uh, storm wash assembly on. And basically that's just a little, uh, little Phillips head screw there. And we'll just pop this on first. Pops on there. And this little tab slides underneath that piece. there, slide it under, and then we'll just put that screw in that hole. And we'll just screw that down, we'll be good to go. Alright, finally I just snapped this back right into the top. It just Pulls off, snap right back in, and same for this piece, this uh, thing right here, there's two little clips right here that hold that on, and then little clips there, and once you get that loose, you just twist it this way, and it pops right out from there, there's a little o-ring in there. Again, this is all on the videos I'll put in the comments. Just want to show you that these are two of the pieces you will need to take off. Okay, <clears throat> we got it all put back together. I've uh, run a full load of dishes here and uh, no error code. Everything drained just fine. So I would say our uh, fix is a success. Um, the only thing I've done 
since the last segment was uh, put the two baskets back in and uh, hooked up the electrical and put the little trim piece back on the bottom. So you can see everything's uh, back to working order. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please uh, leave me a comment or uh, subscribe and share all the good things that you do on uh, YouTube. And uh, hopefully I'll have another video soon.